In this video, I will show you setting up market nodes in two ways. The first option is to run market node along with Lotus Miner. So let's set up a miner first. To run Lotus Miner, you need a Lotus node, and, and apparently there is no Lotus node running locally. But that is not a problem. We can use a remote Lotus node. So at the full node API info environment, source it, and now version, yeah, and now we have a Lotus node. Let's check the sync status. All right, it's fully synced. <clears throat> okay, to start a miner, it is recommended to download the Filecoin proof parameters in advance, or otherwise the init process will do the job. So allies yeah there's the v28 proof and we also need uh, at least one BLS wallet for initializing the miner so let's use this 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 wallet and send some funds to the address first say let's send 20. Well, 0.1 file is generally a safe amount to initialize a miner. This may take a while. All right, got the 20 file. We can start to init a miner. Use this, ad use this address as both worker and owner address. Uh, okay, the owner address. The default sector size is 32 gigabyte. And usually we don't use the storage miner repo for sector storage. So at the no local storage flag. We can set it uh, later. Okay, so actually there are many optional environments to set. So please refer to the Falcon Lotus document. Okay, the uh, the miner is created. Uh, before we start the miner, let's take a look at the config file. Uh, let's make this config file more readable. Okay, and add it. Yeah, it's good. Okay, in the in the subsystem section, all the subsystems are enabled by default, including market. back to the API and lib P2P. Then we need to change the announce address in the lib P2P section with a stable public IP and also publish this address later so that miner is reachable from any peers in the network. All right, now let's start the miner. <clears throat> Okay, check the log. Okay. Okay, the manner is up as well as the marking node. Uh, this, this is a new manner, T030716. And we can use Lotus Manor Storage Deals List to check the out incoming storage deals. And then check the ask of this miner. It's a 
search deals get ask yes okay so now let's try to split the market miner to let the market node run on another machine first before that let's uh back up the miner's metadata repository uh, first uh, stop the miner gracefully and add lotus backup base path environment source it and then start the backup okay start the backup use the offline flag All right, it's done. Log in to another server, which will work as the market node. And copy the config file to the server for initialize the node. So SCP the config, config file to the, to the market node. <clears throat> Okay, it's done. Let's edit this file. Change the listen address and remote listen address. Okay. And set a stable public IP in the lib P2P section, the announce address here. And then disable all the subsystems except for the market, the mining false, ceiling false, sector storage false, and leave the markets as true. Okay. Okay, the next step is to create a authentication tokens for the market's node. Use this command. Yes, and then uh, add this uh, to the environment environment as the environment. <clears throat> source it and then copy the backup file to the server to the market node okay now we are ready to initialize the market node Okay, uh, delete the old folder and try again. Okay, now we can see the market repo is located at the uh, home, demo, and dot lotus markets. Add this as the lotus miner pass as the environment. Yes, uh, add it as the Lotus Miner path.
check again. Yes, that's correct. No, source it. And finally, we can start the markets node. Check the log. All right, everything looks good. The market node is up now. Check the source deals list. Yes, it's good. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.